Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. In this video, we're looking at geology, rock layers, and stratigraphy, and how we analyze these layered rocks underground to figure out both the timing of the Earth's history based on the rocks and the rock layers and the thickness and the composition, and how we work backwards to reconstruct previous landscapes and geomorphology. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Stratigraphy is the study of sedimentary rock layers in principle and looking at these rock layers that are formed on or around the Earth's surface, generally on the land masses above sea level, but also on the ocean floor, and looking at the interpretation of these rocks, their composition, their formation, their relative age, and try to reconstruct previous landscapes based on the current existing landscape that we can study. And the deeper you go into the rock, there are certain principles that allow us to reconstruct prehistoric or paleo environments based on these rocks and based on these geologic principles of stratigraphy. So in total, there are seven principles of stratigraphy. The first principle we're going to look at is called superposition. It's very important because it kind of lays the groundwork for all the other principles. Now this means that the layer of rock that's right by the surface, that's the most recent or recently formed or, or deposited layer of rock. And as you go down deeper to the next one, it gets a bit older. So every rock layer that's deeper than the previous one is older. And this is superposition. And this is the basis for stratigraphy. Our next principle is the principle of original horizontality. So horizontal means a layered flat alignment and original means initial primary as it's formed, as it's deposited, it's going to layer in a flat or a horizontal bed or strata or layer according to the local landscapes or geomorphology or the gradients or contour lines, but it's going to be lay flat according to the landscape because of gravitational force. And if there's any change to that orientation of rock, then you know that there's something happened to that area, perhaps tectonically or a, a catastrophic event in the Earth's history, maybe a meteor impact, but you'd see the effect of this on the, the degree of horizontality of the rock. Initially, it's laid down in a horizontal bed or strata or layer, and then anything that happens after that, let's say fold in geologically or rift in, would affect the rock layers. The next principle is the principle of original continuity. So it's basically stating that over a certain area, geographic area, on the Earth's landscape, when the certain sediments or materials are being deposited to form that certain sedimentary rock, let's say it's mudstone, shale, limestone, conglomerate, breccia, any of these rocks would be formed and it had the same sediment, the same material, the same grain size or similar grain size or similar composition chemically to form a certain sedimentary rock over that given area. So that's continuity of the actual material that's been laid down to form the rock. This next principle is again very defining and very important and paramount for relative age and the entire understanding of stratigraphy in general is uniformitarianism. So this is a large word that basically means that everything is uniform, the same. So what happened in the past, the same processes and uh, mechanisms and formation of these rocks that happened in the past, maybe a thousand years, a hundred thousand years, a billion years in the past, are happening in the same fashion, the same method, the same technique, the same way today. And with that knowledge, you can apply what the current landscape is and how it formed based on this understanding that what happened in the past happens today. The next principle is called cross-cutting relationships. Now this is a follow-on relationship or principle in stratigraphy showing that you need to understand the four previous principles of superposition, horizontality, continuity, and uniformitarianism to figure out the 
relationship between this intruded or added layer of generally igneous rock going up through the previously pre-existing sedimentary rock layers as shown in the diagram with four, then you can figure out the age of both the igneous intrusion or the dike and the rock layers around it. This principle, again, works off the previous one of cross-cutting relationships and the previous four, and it's called baked margins. And this is where you have contact metamorphism occur around the igneous or, or the magma intrusion as it flows up through the surface layers of the pre-existing rocks that are there, that are sedimentary, and you get the heat and pressure creating metamorphism on the edge of the magma and in contact with the colder country rocks, the century rock layers, and forming different forms of minerals and metamorphic rocks of low to medium grade. And again, you need the protrusion to happen first, and then you get the baked margins, and the degree of baked margins will in terms of the crystal size and grain size, that will indicate the timing of this change. Then the last principle is the principle of inclusions. Now this is involving little bits of rock that come from lower down rock layers that were deposited and transported or taken or weathered from lower strata bedding sedimentary rocks and then deposited by an igneous intrusion to a higher or closer to the surface rock layer where they're found and again this would be a older piece of rock compared to the country rock that it is found in so the inclusions are going to be a lot younger than the rock it's found in the ability to apply these seven principles of stratigraphy to an area is important because a lot of the earth's crust on the continents are sedimentary rocks and being able to look at these landscapes and areas and work backwards using these geologic principles of stratigraphy and figure out and reconstruct and work backwards of how these rock layers formed, the environment they formed in and the changes that have occurred over geologic time can give you a great idea and history of the area. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.